starting a YouTube channel genuinely has changed my life. Obviously, it's a new year. Happy 2024. With that, we as society have been doing the whole end of a year, beginning of a new year type of thing. That all has me feeling a little bit sentimental, a little bit reminiscent. So there's been some time to think back on the past year about what are some things that I'm glad I did? At the time that I'm recording this video, I have, I think, a little bit over 300 subscribers. So it's not like YouTube changed my life because I'm making money off of it or anything like that. It's not monetary at all. I don't know why I'm using my hands so much today. My hands just really want to be involved in the conversation today, I guess, which is fine. So I'm not talking about YouTube changing my life in some sort of financial way. All of the ways that I feel like YouTube has changed my life, they're all intangible, but their value is sky high. I started my channel at the beginning of August 2023, and since then I have almost completely consistently uploaded once a week. The reason that I finally decided to start a channel was because I had a unexpected and undetermined amount of time off from work. I usually work in the film and TV industry. I work in the prop department. And as I think a lot of people know, there was a huge strike happening and I had a lot of free time I was doing a few other jobs on the side, but nothing like the 12 hour days that I was used to working in film. So I had a lot of extra time. Starting a YouTube channel was something that I had wanted to do for a very long time and just couldn't make myself do it. I think the last big push that really made me rip the bandaid and decide to start a YouTube channel was the fact that I just really wanted to be creating something. So I started my YouTube channel in August of 2020. 23. And since then, I feel like it's changed my life in a lot of ways, but there are three main topics that I want to discuss today. The first of them being that I feel like my confidence has grown a decent bit. <laughs> a lot of this growth in confidence comes from watching back videos of myself talking, especially my first few, especially my first video. Watching myself talk and questioning everything that I was saying as a bystander, I was just sitting back watching this person who was myself try to speak a full sentence and just feel like I wasn't saying the right thing at all at any time. And I'm like, no, just, just finish your thought, girl, like you got it. Seeing this mirror image of myself and not feeling like that really is who I am, but watching myself seem so unconfident, unsure of myself, and also just so uncomfortable in front of the camera at first. Seeing all of that happen when I would watch my footage, as weird as it sounds, just seeing it made me more confident because I would watch it and I was like, this is not who I am. This is not who I feel like I am. Apparently this is who I am if you put a camera in front of me. Over this period of time since I've started my YouTube channel, I have without a doubt felt like my confidence both on camera, but also just in real life, everyday life, it has grown every day. Confidence is something that everybody struggles with, or at least most people. I definitely struggle with it a lot. It was just like, I would watch this person on the screen and I was like, I know I'm not that confident, but girl, you gotta be more confident than this. Like what? Beyond just noticing my own mannerisms and the way that I came across on screen, it also was just a gradual growth of confidence over time that I think with anyone doing something like this, that just naturally comes as well. Your comfort level, your confidence, it all just kind of comes along. The next way that I really do feel like starting a YouTube channel has improved my life is the fact that I do feel like I have gained a spark of creativity or like a little bit of a sizzle. I don't think I've mentioned this on my channel, but I work in props in TV and film professionally, but what I really want to do professionally is write and direct. And so I do that on the side for my own 
side projects. Obviously the dream is to do that one day professionally and get paid to do it. But the thing with that is that there's really no true path to that type of career. Every TV and film director out there has a completely different career path and trajectory. The only thing really that is like, okay, you should be doing that is I should be creating my own work. And when you're feeling like you're in a little bit of a rut, you can't find inspiration, nothing is coming to you, you're just feeling a little stuck and uninspired, that just is not the best time for creativity, at least in my experience. And so part of my hope behind starting the YouTube channel was to ignite a little sense of creativity within myself. I feel like it's definitely done that and also translated into other parts of my life. The juices get going here. I have fun making a certain type of video. That'll just get me excited and give me ideas for a short film that I want to work on or a music video. And the more that I've gotten comfortable with filming, editing, speaking in front of the camera, the more that I feel like the creative ideas, the creative juices, they've started to flow a lot more. Even though it's not the same thing that I'm talking about where I want my life to look a certain way one day It still is a creative outlet. It's like if you've ever had some free time and just Colored a little bit or like gone on a walk and listened to music just been surrounded by something that is like creatively stimulating that can tend to pour over into other areas of your life as well and that's definitely an upside and the whole creativity thing kind of carries into my last reason which is that starting this YouTube channel kind of generated this sense of momentum for me and also also a sense of discipline that I didn't really have otherwise. I am the type of person that always feels the most motivated when there's some sort of outside pressure put on me, whether that's a deadline or just the knowledge that someone else is watching me in some type of way. I don't think I'm unique in that way. I think a lot of people are like this, but I definitely feel the most pressure and usually the most productive when I know that there's some sort of structure or some sort of deadline reason to get something done. I think that's obviously from just being in school and now being in my Oh my gosh, I didn't introduce myself at all. Hi, I'm Camilla, I'm 25 years old and I live in Atlanta, Georgia. And I think that the fact that I'm in my mid twenties now, I still haven't been out of a school environment for that long. So much of us throughout our lives, through high school, through college or university or any other type of school, or learning environment. There are these parameters and pressures and deadlines that are put upon you. You know you're gonna have a test on a certain day. You know that you have this certain thing that's due by this certain day. You have this teacher that you just don't wanna disappoint. You wanna impress them. That may apply to you or that might not, but I know that for myself personally, I really thrived on the structure of school. Life after that structure can be a little bit weird and confusing because no one's really making you do anything. No one's making you do anything at all. And it's all on you. And I just feel like I tend to be someone who needs some sort of extra push of motivation or just that feeling of pressure. So starting this channel, even though the pressure isn't really real, there's no one actually standing over me telling me that I need to get a video out every week, but it's this internal pressure that I've been able to create within myself that there is a deadline of, for me, I've made it every Tuesday, that every Tuesday a video is going to go up and I need to have something ready. That's kind of helped me find a sense of discipline within my creativity and that type of goal setting, I guess, if you wanna call it that, has kind of helped me translate into other areas of my life and set certain goals or parameters, deadlines in other areas of my life that I want to be creative. Of course, it's okay if I don't always accomplish my goal on YouTube of uploading once a week on the same day every week, but 
just the momentum of doing that at least most of the time. That momentum also motivates me and carries into other areas of my life. So those are just the top main ways. And this is Peanut, my cat, <laughs> who's kind of being a little rigid right now. Those are just the top main ways that I feel like YouTube has helped to change my life over the past five months or so, but there's definitely a lot of other smaller reasons as well. I feel like I've kind of uh, started to romanticize in my life a little bit more. I know that's a kind of a trendy thing to say, but it's the best way to describe it. Just noticing more of the beauty in my everyday life. Things like getting excited to build a piece of furniture or getting excited to clean my apartment because it's actually kind of fun to just film myself doing it. Obviously, I just got back from the most insane trip ever to Antarctica and I would not have documented it to the extent that I did if I didn't have a YouTube channel. And I already know that I am so glad that I have the amount of footage that I do of that unbelievable trip. It also is just so fun to look back at that footage already and edit that trip and just feel the magic of Antarctica all over again. P for peanut. It's a peanut party. Okay. He said stop. He said stop it please. So there are a lot of ways in which I feel like starting this YouTube journey has already been a really exciting, fun, totally worth it thing to do. And I share all of this because if there's anyone out there that is wanting to start a channel and needs maybe that little extra push to get them to do so, let this be your message. I think it is completely worth it. Give it a go. What's the worst that can happen? If for some reason you completely hate it, you can always just delete everything and delete your channel. Like, very likely there are only good things that are gonna come from it. Yeah, if you're anything like me, maybe stop overthinking it. Just start doing, just start doing it. Before you know it, it'll be five or six months later and you'll be reflecting back on the past couple of months and realize how much you've already grown. And whatever you're wanting to start, maybe it's not even a YouTube channel, but whatever that thing is that you keep putting off that you would really love to do, maybe you should go ahead and start it. Maybe this is your sign. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please consider giving it a thumbs up or subscribing to my channel. Both of those things would help out me and my channel a whole lot. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.